One, two, three. <laughs> So this room is going to be for my boyfriend's kids and it's a boy and a girl. So I had to come up with a design that could be unisex um, but also look good. And you, I feel like that's really hard in a kid's room. So I decided to do like a southwestern cactus pink and green room design. So I picked out a light teal green and a very soft pale pink. And instead of doing the whole wall or half and half, I did each corner alternating in colors coming down at an angle like this and then painted white on the remaining wall space. You can see where I taped it off with frog tape that when I painted the walls white it left the previous like gray color which I was going to fix but I actually like how it turned out. It kind of gave it like an extra layer of what looked like I did it on purpose but I didn't. But anyways, so once I've painted this as you can see. I just used frog tape, did two coats of each of the paint colors and the white, and then removed the tape, and then I moved on to the outlet covers. I always like to either paint these white again, or since I had a lot of gold accents in this room, I spray painted them gold because it just adds another little touch that, you know, you wouldn't really think to do, but makes a big difference. So all of these pieces here, I got in the clearance section at Hobby Lobby or at like a Goodwill or the dollar store. I always look for discounted stuff because obviously, you know, it adds up and I'm doing a kid's room so they don't need, you know, the best of the best. And I think these things were super duper cute. It's kind of a mix and match of like anything that's green, pink, and gold. I know it's like palm trees, feathers, cactuses, but they don't really know the difference and it looked cute. So I made like a little collage wall of these things and I love that gold wire cactus. I got it for like three bucks at Hobby Lobby in the clearance section. So always go there first because... Who doesn't like a bargain? So after I finished this wall, I needed to cover up that window behind their bunk bed. So I got this at the Goodwill, it's just like a sheer curtain with gold glitter polka dots. And I just hung that up. And then for the curtain by their desk, it was going along the green side of the wall. So I had this like pink marble watercolor looking uh, curtain from the nursery that I didn't need. And so I hung that up. So I actually found this mirror at a garage sale so long ago and I never had a use for it but I just didn't want to throw it away and I'm so glad I didn't because it fits this space perfectly. Just a giant flower with a mirror in the middle. I freshened up the spray paint on the outside with some gold and I just love how it looks. It's huge and it just fits this space so well. Then I hung up this little hanging plant that I got at probably Hobby Lobby or Michael's. And then I just attached all the outlet covers back on to the outlets. I got this rug from Wayfair. It was the same Southwestern style. I loved it so much. It was perfect for the space. So I bought these little cups from the dollar store to use for a project and I just spray painted them gold and then let those dry for a little bit. And then I also found these wooden letters for Allie and Mason, their names for their bunk beds. And I just painted them the colors of their room colors. Now I'm going to put a shelf up over their desk and I'm using drywall anchors here because I wasn't on a stud and this is pretty self-explanatory. Just attach the little brackets and then put the shelf back up and make sure that it's level, which it is. First try. Such a good feeling. Everybody who feels me. Then I got this desk, which was perfect. I just wanted a simple, plain, cute little desk. It has the gold legs and everything. I got it at Target for like 70 bucks, but I had a $50 gift card, so ba-bam. Push that up against the wall, right at the end of the rug, and started putting up the decorations. I found this, once again, at Hobby Lobby in the clearance section, and it's so freaking cute. And honestly, I just kinda like hold things up against places in the room where I think it'll look cute until I find a spot, and I thought this was perfect. Hung up this picture in a couple corners. I had some like little leftover things, and. It just makes such a big difference to put things on the wall. It just makes it really like a finished overall appearance. I got this chair for free from a family member and I'm making this like a little reading nook and got this shelf at the Goodwill and I painted it the same color as the wall so it kind of like blended in. 
And then I took those cups and I tied some twine to them so that they could hang from the wall because I'm going to use them for pencils and markers and stuff. And then I just took little tiny gold nails and hammered them into the wall because these are super duper lightweight. So it didn't need to be anything like super heavy duty. Now I'm just putting those same little gold nails in the wall to hold up some rulers near their desk. Um, Allie, his, my boyfriend's daughter is seven, so she's like getting into, you know, homework and second grade and coloring and all that. So I thought this desk would be so cute for her. Now I just started decorating it with things that I got either from Goodwill or the dollar store. I had this little mirror that lit up and she's all into hair and makeup now. So I thought that was so perfect because it looks like my vanity mirror. And then I actually got all the things for the desk from the dollar store. Pens, markers, pencils, rulers, like everything you can get from the dollar store and you can completely stock up their desk and make it look so cool for super duper duper cheap. I love this little cactus I got from Michael's in the clearance section. I found that little flower pot and candle from the dollar store and this little cactus. And this was so cute. I got this at the Goodwill and it just fits so perfectly. Stapler, tape dispenser, all that from the dollar store. Got her little lotion. I mean, this is a souped up desk for so cheap. And then I just put some coloring books and her hair stuff and flashcards and these cute notebooks that I got also from the dollar store to start her off in a little garbage. And I actually had this teal chair that fits so perfectly. I got these pillows from the dollar store and, or sorry, not the dollar store, Goodwill. <laughs> yeah, they don't sell pillows at the dollar store. And then just some random other little trinkets to go over the shelves. One, two, three. <laughs> your coloring and your makeup. Look at this cute little mirror I got you. Yeah. What's this? Lotion. Alright, well you're, I didn't put staples in there for you. This is awesome. Do you love it? Yeah. 